So welcome to Frugal Finance, everybody. We're just going to have a quick overview of the portfolio. So with that said, let's get stuck in. So this week, you can see that we are on a 2.57% return, so £31. Now, that is in the main due to Cineworld. So Cineworld has had a bit of a, a, a rage this week. It's gone up by about, well, for me, 20%, but this week it's gone up 18%, reaching highs of about 85p. Um, I believe that is probably... Uh, due to some speculation to do with the GameStop and AMC shorting uh, debacle that you would have no doubt read in the news. If not, please do check out my video on where I explain what shorting is and what the uh, GameStop fiasco is all about. Um, so basically, AMC, are another company which is involved in this shorting uh, debacle, and they are a uh, cinema group, entertainment group, basically. And they're also the holding company for Odeon in the UK. So um, Cineworld being in the same group probably have ridden off of this uh, with people pumping money into it because it's quite a cheap stock, very easy to average down on. Um, you can see here I've got 450 shares. That only equates to £350. So, um, yeah. That that's obviously done quite well this week, which to be honest has been a bit of a saviour, um, because if you deduct that, so if I didn't hold that or if it had stayed stagnant, um, we'd actually be at a thirty pound loss. Um, as you can see, um, there are some significant uh, patterns here of red. Even Apple here are red, even though their quarterly earnings report was uh, announced last week and or earlier in this week. Sorry and showed that they had quite a, a decent run up to Christmas, but so they're still down 1%, so not been a particularly good week in the stock market, if I'm all honest. Um, yeah, lots of red. Obviously, there are only small amounts, but if you look out for any sort of specific ones like Encore here, um, that is down uh, this week. Um, I think it's about 10% this week, so and overall for me, 14%, so quite a significant drop. Obviously, it's quite a small holding because it's part of my pie, so it would be easy to dollar cost average down on that, and then if need be, remove it from the pie, um, which is the kind of thing that I'm going to be looking at going forward. But um, overall, I mean, anything significant that isn't part of the pie, so EasyJet, that's down now nearly 8.3%. This week, down 6.3%, obviously... We all know that the travel industry has been hammered um, and I suspect it will be one of the last industries to truly recover, uh, especially with all this international travel ban and the talk about hotels and things. Um, uh, Uber is obviously down 3.64% on the week. Um, these are the more, these are the non-pie holdings that I've got. Um, I suspect it's a very similar story to um, EasyJet in terms of why it's gone down. Um, so yeah, overall, um, obviously we are up 2.57, which is not too bad considering this particular portfolio has only started in December. Um, and it's not been a particularly good ride since then. Um, but that is all owing real thanks to Cineworld, if I'm honest. Um, if it wasn't for them, then we would be down here. Um, I've topped up my AGNC uh, shares slightly, even though this is part of the pie. We now got nearly 16 shares bought manually and then half a share in the pie. Um, so hopefully we'll get a dividend payment of around about £1.40 um, in uh, middle of February. Um, and then obviously that will sustain each month. My goal for this, as I said in the uh, midweek pie review, is really to try and get this uh, the shareholding up to a point where the dividend it, on a monthly basis is around about the cost of a share, so £11.47. Uh, if I can do that, then it's self-fulfilling because basically it will continue to top the account up and uh, buy a share almost on a monthly basis because I'll reinvest the dividends um, into buying a share. So that's that. Uh, quick nip over to uh, NEO, which obviously is outside the ISA because it's not qualifying. Um, and again, similar story here, down 4.55%. Um, they do have their earnings review on Monday. Um, 
so hopefully that will shoot up but i don't know you know i mean it's a bit unusual that this the share price would drop before an earnings report um maybe uh people know things we don't know who knows um but you know i think of in general obviously if you look at the 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 upward curve obviously back here in june 2020 would be a perfect time to get in but i think this is still very early on in this this curve here i mean if you say of late it's obviously it had this dip here and then it's in it's plateaued out a bit around here um if you then compare that to say tesla um who obviously much further on in their journey but uh non electric vehicle manufacturer nonetheless um if you go back to say around here this sort of time here uh september time it was very stagnant and it went just kind of flat really up and down a little bit fractional amounts and then obviously a big rise here um and then you've had similar things here this is a, a reasonable period july through to august not a lot and then from here june uh 2020 um obviously that's a, a continuous rise up to there but a slow rise if you like and there was lots of ups and downs and then if you go to the max obviously it's been a long time here and then here we are there's the the start of the pandemic um but again a bumpy ride by no means a completely smooth affair up to where we find them today and obviously as you're aware this week they are down so anyway that's my uh, quick review of the portfolio um overall not too bad but really just saved by the cine world at the moment um go on the cinemas hopefully it's not just fueled by a whole load of people buying in and thinking that they can do equivalent of game stop in america but we shall see um so once again as i always remind you this is for entertainment purposes only you need to do your own research before investing into the markets uh, your capital is at risk as always and is repeated throughout the apps and various advice um, please don't take my advice for uh, investing your own funds you need to do your own independent advice and seek professionals of help if you need to having said that if you would like to start a set up an account please do use the link in the description below um, once you've credited some money that will give you a free share and that will allow you to then uh, obviously get up to 100 pounds worth of free money so if you're thinking of setting it up why wouldn't you do that it's of hundred up to a hundred pounds free, and I know everyone always says up to a hundred pounds, but to be honest, the shares that I am uh, getting because I get uh, the same shares you do by you using the link, so you do help me out, and that does help the channel out a bit. Um, the the shares are around about fifteen pounds. Some of them are a tenner, some of them are twenty pounds. It tends, but um, you know, I had one for thirty five quid, um, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, you know reasonable. Uh, amount and it is money for nothing um so with that said if you'd like to like and subscribe to the video uh, to the channel even not the video you can like the video and subscribe to the channel that's the right way around um, please do feel free to comment below um, check out any of my other videos i've done this week one on my pie and one on the uh, 300 percent return on game stock and stop even not stock uh, that game stop stock quite difficult to say if you're a bit talking quick um, and uh, and what shorting the market is so please do feel free to check those out so with that said please do smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you next time